In the previous video lecture, we understood that immune responses are helpful to us since they provide protection against pathogens. But, when the immune system starts causing damage, instead of providing protection, it leads to hypersensitivity reactions. Hypersensitivity reactions consist of inappropriate immune responses that result in damage to the host. Today we will study in detail, the main features and, the underlying mechanism of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. Let's begin. You all must have heard the term, allergy. For example, drug allergy, food allergy, skin allergy, dust allergy, animal allergy etc. All these are type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. Antigens that stimulate allergies are known as, allergens. These antigens are common non-microbial, environmental antigens. Now here it is important to note that, the antigens are non-microbial. For example, pollen, dust, food and drugs. Allergens are mostly proteins. These antigens are harmless to most individuals. But, they result in allergy in some individuals. Why this is so is not understood well. Two important factors having major role in the development of allergy are, the genetic background of the individual and, the environment. It has been found that, relatives of allergic individuals are more likely to have allergies than unrelated people. Families in which both parents are allergic, have a 50% chance of having an allergic child. Environmental factors also contribute to the development of allergies. This factor is explained by scientists as hygiene hypothesis. We know that, besides innate immunity, we have acquired immunity which means, we acquire immunity by getting exposed to antigens in the environment during our life. If somehow, an individual fails to encounter sufficient pathogens in infancy, immune system remains weak. And thus, it becomes sensitive to normal harmless antigens. Increased hygiene, and underexposure to pathogens are important factors that contribute to this. Another term for type 1 hypersensitive reactions is, atopy or atopic reactions. Atopy refers to IgE-mediated hypersensitivity. The patients with such reactions are known as, atopic patients. Type 1 hypersensitivity reactions are either localized or, systemic. Localized atopy means, the allergic symptoms depend on the location of the affected site. It is generally confined to a particular location. That is, to a specific target tissue or, organ. For example, allergic asthma, eczema and, hair fever. On the other hand, systemic atopic reactions means, the reactions affect the entire body. Extreme systemic reactions are called, systemic anaphylaxis or, simply anaphylaxis. The term anaphylaxis is used for life-threatening reactions. This term is opposite of prophylaxis which means protection. The term indicates that IgE antibodies instead of providing protection, damages the host. It is often shock-like and, fatal state that occurs within minutes of exposure to an allergen. The reactions is manifested within 2 to 4 minutes of exposure to the allergen. It is a fatal reaction that involves airway obstruction and, circulatory collapse. Antigens that trigger this type of reaction in susceptible individuals include, venom from bee, wasp, ant stings, drugs such as penicillin, foods such as seafood and, nuts. If we talk about the treatment of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions then, avoidance of known allergens is the first line of defense. Localized allergic reactions, such as hay fever, hives or rhinitis are treated easily with antihistamines. 
and systemic reaction require the use of epinephrine to quickly reverse symptoms. Now let's talk about the components of the immune system involved in type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. As said before, these reactions are also known as IgE-mediated hypersensitivity. Production of IgE antibody is the hallmark of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. When normal individuals encounter common environmental antigens such as pollen, either they do not respond, or they produce IgM, IgG or IgA antibodies and clear these antigens. There are no symptoms or damage to the individual. But, the individuals who are sensitive to these common environmental antigens, produce high levels of IgE antibodies in response to them. Why they produce IgE antibodies is not understood. The main cells of the immune system involved in type 1 hypersensitivity reactions are mast cells, basophils, eosinophils, and T helper type 2 cells. Cytokines and chemokines secreted by these cells, such as interleukin 4, interleukin 5, and interleukin 13, play a major role in the manifestation of these reactions. So, now we have covered the main features of type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. In the next video lecture, we will study in detail the underlying mechanisms of these reactions. Keep supporting this channel. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Thank you for watching.